Oh, this is like Portal. This is so cool. Oh, basically that. Yeah, and then he he vibe coded all these um, features into it. So it's like straight up Portal. Yeah. Whoa. Do you guys have like tutorials on YouTube or anything? Is this a World Lab spot? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's it is. so cool. Another spot. Um, here is like another spot, like that's more like dunes, another spot. And so if you say like, you know, make a first person shooter or whatever, um, we'll create a new project that uses this template. And then similarly, how Jason showed you, you know, uploading an asset, you can still do that here and then like change the spot, but then you are able to bind code other things into it. We have a lot of templates basically that can um, switch out the splats and, and all of them have like a little bit of different uh, mechanic. Like one has a character chat, the other has, you know, uh, multiplayer. What Jason just did was just publish one of them. So this is the one with character chat. And mm -hmm. then when you scroll the footer, there's something down here that says we mix your game. Right here in the bottom left. Yeah. Yeah, then when you hit remix, you get you get your own fresh copy of the project. What if we use one of her spots as an example? So we should just like download it from her page. All right. Okay. So, so you, these are spots here. You generated these cool. cool which, one, yeah, which of your spots do you want to just? I mean, we could just show you through one example, like adding oh, your spot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just any of that would be great. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to go to this one here. Okay. Okay. Now all you have to do is just head over down to download here. Download the um, the SPZ uh, low res. Low res, okay. Yeah, just so it's a, a smaller size, so it's easier. Mm -hmm. Then I, yeah, the easiest flow is then for me to just head over to Rosebud again. Go over to the asset tab here on the top right. Yeah, so now you guys know too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, like yeah. a, it's actually internally, Jason's been so ahead of us that he's like, yeah, this is good for all of us to learn. Mm -hmm. All right, then. I'm gonna drag it in. I mean, this, this is the the splat. So I can just name it to my. Yeah, you can totally change the name down there. It makes it easier for the um, LLM to reference. So that's. Mm -hmm. what I'm gonna then go to the chat here on the bottom left. I'm just gonna tell Rosie the AI that change the splat into my bedroom scene or bedroom splat, since that's exactly what I named it. Ah. And then Rosie. Yeah, Rosie's gonna be able to see it in the asset tab and then she's gonna swap it out. I didn't know what the little splat is because in the code it kind of refers to it as, as a splat. Also, it's just pretty smart in general, so. Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, that's oh, so damn. cool! <laughs> Bam! So now your worlds can be playable. <laughs> Whoa! So cool. So, so what, what do people do with this? Like, like, do you just like roam around and like? What, what do you want the characters to do? Like, we can literally prompt into existence any mechanic and be like, "Hey, I want to talk to this character," and then we can like now just like vibe code that into like a feature. Whoa. Okay. Cool. So, so I have a question. So, if there are like these bi um like big splats that are um the stitch scenes that we make, can you do yes. that? Yes, we could. It's just a little bit bigger. Have you like dealt with like Google buckets before? No. Yeah, it's just like you have to upload it somewhere else. Like sometimes, like, I don't know how big Imager supports stuff, but like some external place that you can upload the asset and then it can reference it. The, the short answer is you can definitely host this in those big slots, but we have a limit on the size of the ones you can upload to our asset tab. So it has to be hosted somewhere else and then you can reference the URL instead. That's amazing. This is so cool. So I I need to I need to join your Discord because I'm curious what oh, people are building. Yeah, 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 please. And you should just pester us with questions there because there's a ton of community members who would just be so delighted with these spots that they're like they'll mm -hmm. jump in to help you. We've created this product for the last two and a half years. Yeah, so you use like vibe code interactive game like experiences, and so the the splat stuff is just perfect because we're like, well, you know, it, it makes the visuals look so good, and now we can add like mechanics. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, in the default template, you can talk to characters. So right now, this character was created for the previous environment where it was like a cafe. So she, so that's so if I want to then change her to be someone else, I can say something like I don't know. Or in the bedroom, I don't know, will be a good character. 
Just like check say she tells stories or something. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Maybe storyteller. Yeah. A storytelling grandma. Grandma. Yeah. Story- <laughs> okay. Make a character into a story. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we can. I don't know if you're into VR as well, but like some of them. Yeah, you can just convert into an immersive VR experience by adding a VR button by just asking Rosie to do it. So, like once this finishes we'll show you how to publish it because it's literally just one clip, which means you have a url that you can share with other people and then they can play your game um especially the multiplayer ones which makes it fun okay so grandma rose she didn't really change her appearance but <laughs> she <changed> her <laughs> so i'm gonna go to over here at the top this is the title of my project i'm gonna name it cozy bedroom and now, now that it has a title that's unique i can go over here to the top right to share when you hit share, you can just do like one click, and now you have a URL you can share with anybody, and they can play it without logging in or anything. Oh, this is amazing! Thank you for sharing this with me, guys. This is awesome. I feel like people who are, you know, like artists and doing all this kind of build the best experiences. So we just want more people to like experiment and yeah, please join the Discord and uh, and pester us if you have more questions. Yeah, I will. Yeah, I, I feel like people from our Discord should know about this too, because there's so many people who are interested in like game development, like they're obviously like devs, oh. but I feel like there are so many artists, so I feel like there should be almost like a collab in some way. I don't know, but I feel like the people in our Discord should know about mm -hmm. Rosebud. Oh. And, and do you vibe code your own like meshes? Are they meshes like the characters or do you import them from like meshy or something? Oh, the yeah, that you should upload. Yeah, yeah, you, you could vibe code. Um, so I'll show you. We have like a um, image model here. So if you're in assets, you're down here. You can literally choose 3D asset and then vibe code something um, uh, as a character. But it's not going to have animations and stuff. So I would suggest that if you have your favorite like you know, set of assets for characters, you can also upload it here and that will probably have a better experience. But then there's actually a bunch of tutorials, like we did one with Meshi, we did one with like, I think we're doing one with CSM like in two weeks or one week with like, how do you, you know, use other assets in here. Cool, Great. thank you guys. <laughs> this has been yeah. awesome, I'm gonna play All that. Right. <laughs> thank you guys, bye.